So the, the, the solution we, we, we've been developing in Ottawa is called eCare PD, and that basically stands for electronic or virtual care for people with Parkinson's disease. So it relates with our, you know, a larger project of, of uh, care integration uh, for people with Parkinson's disease that it's, it's highly invested in facilitating the navigation of, of people with Parkinson's within the healthcare system, but on an hospital, but m mostly in the community, but also foster, you know, this idea of self-care to education about living with Parkinson's disease at any stage of the Parkinson's uh, journey. So also foster from the early diagnosis, from the start of medication and then when things uh, get a bit more complex and there's more issues to to address in a in briefly what this solution aims at is bringing those uh, those same concepts so self-care i would say you know like to get patient empowerment uh, but also uh, facilitating uh, navigation in healthcare system to the palms of hands of patients with Parkinson's. So this is we're looking at a, a patient portal, a user interface that has a lot of information regarding these aspects. It also has allows for for online health tracking and ultimately uh, people with Parkinson's define their care goals. They are given education for those care goals uh, that not only includes you know tip sheets but also uh, something we are we started to pilot. You know, mapping care resources within, in this case, in Ottawa, which aligns also with some of the projects of Parkinson's Canada in terms of uh, doing more ambitiously, you know, across uh, the entire of Canada. Uh, so, I think that the main, I think the main, the main benefit for people with Parkinson's in using this tool is, in a way, a sense of empowerment. That you know, you have this tool that can help them to to know more about their Parkinson's, what to expect about Parkinson's, that they're able to deal with it. Uh, and so it's another resource that helps them to identify the, the ongoing issue, for example, and how to better management, manage those. And so the idea of you know empowerment, autonomy, and more independence in living with Parkinson's, that's, that will be the main benefit that we hope to achieve with the eCare PD. So the goal, one of the goals for the three years will be to test out what deployment across Canada could look like and, and how best to execute that. So that will be part of the, the three year timeline. And then other factors will be making sure eCare PD is equipped to support people across the country. Exactly. So that. So that we are, we are sure that you know, the feasibility of deploying a tool, we, and as I mentioned earlier in this interview, you know, that they they keep returning to use it, and, and as I, they see ongoing value in using it. And 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 the other part, of course, is is which I think it's it's a huge challenge for any uh, you know any app or any new solution is 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 maintaining the content, not only appropriate in this case geographically across Canada, so that people can relate to the content to their local reality uh, or provincial reality, but also with time, right? Because the content needs to be updated um, as as people use the, the app. And so those, those will be main challenges, I think. One of the strengths of this project is that, is that you know these ideas, these these values are uh, that are really enshrined in our research do align with 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 with, with interest, and I think the mission of Parks in Canada. So there's this kind of this initial alignment. You know, if if this tool is is is, I usually say that this tool is made for and by people with with Parkinson's disease. So uh, we see Parkinson's Canada as perhaps the most appropriate conduit to to make it accessible to to the target and to the end user we think parkinson's canada can really help us to leverage the the value of this project across canada and 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 and, and even you know as i mentioned you know, one of the main challenges how can we really maintain content and make it adequate and and appropriate 
across Canada. And so, so uh, we believe that Parkinson's Canada will be in a much better position to, 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 to allow that to happen uh, because of you know, being a, a national-wide organization 